Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study about ESR spectrum of hydrogen. Okay, here hydrogen is having one electron. That means this is in the unpaired condition. Uh, therefore, it is an ESR active species. Okay, so any species that is having unpaired electron, then that will be ESR active species. Here hydrogen is also having one unpaired electron and hence it is ESR active species. Okay, now this electron for, in case of hydrogen, it will be present in S orbital, right? It is uh, the atomic number is uh, 1 that means electronic configuration is 1s1 that means that electron is present in S orbital. Okay, for this what is S value? S yes is the spin of that uh, electron that is half. Okay, S yes is the spin for that electron it is 1 by 2. Okay, as it is in up spin, right? It is a plus half or simply in a half. Now, what is the ms value? ms means what? ms is nothing but spin, uh, you know, spin angular momentum, spin angular momentum quantum number. Okay, ms means what? It is a spin angular momentum quantum number. This is given by minus s2 plus s. Okay, ms value is nothing but it is from minus s2 plus s. That means minus half to plus half. That means what are the values are there? Minus half and plus half. So, there are two ms values are there for the hydrogen uh, nuclei. Okay. Now, I represent the energy level diagram for the hydrogen, okay. So, this ms value, okay, there are two ms value, one is plus half, another one is a negative half, okay. ms is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2. That means, in the absence of magnetic field, these two levels will be degenerate, okay. It will be degenerate. That means, the energy of both the levels are same in the absence of magnetic field. Okay, H is equal to 0 means what? In the absence of magnetic field, both the levels are having same energy. But if you apply the magnetic field, okay, if you apply the magnetic field, that means H not equal to 0 means in the presence of magnetic field. What happens is that these two MS level will split. Okay, it will split into two levels like this. Okay, one is negative half and another one is the ms is equal to positive half okay this level is negative half this is positive half now the energy for the ms level the energy of ms level is given by this formula okay a is equal to ms g beta h okay what is e is equal to ms g beta h this is the energy of ms levels okay this is given by this particular formula if you apply uh, this formula for ms is equal to negative half, okay, for ms is equal to minus half, what will be the en energy of that level? It will be minus 1 by 2 g beta h. Okay, in the previous video, I explained what is g, what is b, beta, what is h, right? So, I explained all the terms and also we solved the problem regarding the uh, same uh, equation, right? If you uh, haven't watched that video, please do watch, okay? And after that, come to this video, okay? E is equal to minus half g beta h for ms is equal to negative half. Similarly, for ms is equal to positive half, that means upper level, okay? For that, energy is what? Plus 1 by 2 g beta h, okay? I write here. So, E is equal to minus half g beta h for this level and energy E is equal to positive half g beta h okay this is the energy now for the transition to occur in the esr spectroscopy we have a selection rule that selection rule is given by this okay selection rule for the esr spectroscopy okay this is important you need to remember okay selection rule is what delta ms is equal to plus or minus one and we also uh, consider the nuclear spin uh, quantum number that is the mi okay that should be equal to zero okay this is the selection rule that is uh, used in esr spectroscopy for the transition purpose now uh, for the transition delta ms should be what equal to plus or minus one that means how many transitions are possible one transition possible okay so what is the 
you know difference between that transition means what is the energy required for that transition is you need to subtract the energy for this level minus this so what you get half g beta h minus minus half g beta h so what is this one half g beta h means what it is the energy for this level and minus half g beta h is the energy for this level okay delta e means what this is the difference okay between the upper and lower level what you get half g beta h minus minus positive half g beta h you will get simply a g beta h right this is the energy uh, for energy difference between the two levels okay g beta h now we need to consider the um, hyperfine splitting hyperfine splitting we need to consider hyperfine splitting now what is hyperfine splitting hyperfine splitting means whenever uh, you know uh, the spin of the electron couples with the spin of the nucleus then what happened the ms level further splits and that is what we call hyperfine splitting so what is hyperfine splitting how will you define it splitting of splitting of ms level ms levels which ms level this is ms level right so that ms level further splits okay due to what due to uh, coupling or uh, interaction due to coupling of spin of the electron with the spin of the nucleus spin of nucleus okay what happened the spin of electron combines or couples with the spin of the nucleus so that ms level further splits okay that is what we call hyperfine splitting okay now we know that i value i means what it is a spin of the nucleus or it is simply called as nuclear spin okay nuclear spin or spin of the nucleus okay this one spin of the nucleus is represented by i the spin of the electron is represented by s yes. okay if uh, okay now what is i value for the hydrogen for the hydrogen we know its value is 1 by 2 half okay i is equal to 1 by 2 for the hydrogen now what is the uh, mi okay here also you uh, considered s yes, and later you considered ms ms means what spin angular quantum momentum uh, angular momentum quantum number similarly here also you have mi mi means what nuclear spin quantum number okay mi means it is a quantum number related to the nuclear spin that is given by minus i2 plus i just like to the ms ms is equal to what m uh, minus uh, s2 plus s right so here also it is negative i2 positive i that means its uh, value is what minus half to plus half that means there are only two values minus half and plus half will be uh, the mi values for the hydrogen uh, in a species now let's see the energy level diagram i am writing the same energy level diagram that i have uh, written earlier this is uh, plus or minus uh, sorry 1 by 2 this is in the absence of magnetic field now in the presence of magnetic field it was split into two level this is ms is equal to negative half this is ms is equal to positive half right now this is in the presence uh, yeah presence of magnetic field okay where the magnetic field is not equal to zero now we need to consider what hyperfine splitting Hyperfine splitting means what? The MS level will split further. Okay. Now it will split into how many level? It is equal to how many MI values are there? No. Uh, to that extent, this MS level also splits. Now here MI values are only two, right? MI is equal to minus half and plus half. That means this MS level splits into two. Okay. How many MI values are there? No. Uh, to uh, that many level, this MS level will splits. Okay. It will split like this. One is this and the other one is like this. Okay. So, each MS level will split into two. Okay. This is MI is equal to plus half. This is MI is equal to negative half. Okay. While this is MI is equal to what? Minus half. MI is equal to positive half. Okay. This is the MI levels. 
okay the splitting of ms11 is taking uh, because of coupling of spin of the electron with the i that is spin of the nucleus okay the ms11 further splits here and that is what we call hyperfine splitting okay so in the uh, previous uh, case i just told the selection tool right so here uh, the what is the selection tool delta mi is equal to zero so we need to consider here this one so in order to make a delta mi equal to zero so what are the transition possible the transition must be from here to here and here to here correct so there are two transition from what from delta uh, sorry mi is equal to plus half to mi is equal to plus half this one okay first transition and this is the second transition mi is equal to minus half to two mi is equal to minus half then only you get uh, difference is zero okay delta mi should be equal to zero for the transition in case of esr spectroscopy energy of mi level is given by okay energy of mi levels is given by um half not not half sorry ms g beta h plus a ms mi okay this is the formula to calculate the energy of mi levels okay in this case we have four mi levels okay we need to find out the energy of all the four mi levels now for first uh, first level that is this one plus half plus half and for which uh, what is the ms value okay for this uh, level what is the ms value ms value is minus half okay now find the energy i write e1 okay e1 equal to ms g beta h right ms means minus half g beta h plus a okay i tell you what is this a means later ms means what minus half mi means what it is 1 by 2 okay so you will get a uh, half so minus is there minus half g beta h this minus plus minus so you get minus here a 1 by a2 into 1 by 2 become 1 by 4 okay this is e1 now that means energy of this level similarly you need to calculate the energy of this and this and this okay that is i represent energy for the second level is e2 and similarly e3 for the third level and e4 for the fourth level okay use the same formula and you substitute what is the mi value and what is the ms uh, ms value for that level okay for this mi value is what minus half what is ms value it is ms is positive half mi is called positive half for this level and ms is positive half the value you get for uh, e2 e3 e4 okay If you some, uh, substitute ms and mi value in the expression for the energy, okay. Now the energy uh, level of first transition, okay. Uh, we I said already there are two transition, one and two, okay. So this is first transition, this is the second transition. Now we will find out what energy difference for the or uh, energy required for the first transition and energy required for the second transition. For that purpose, what I need to do. For this uh, case, okay, so I need to subtract the energy of this and this. For, uh, to get the energy uh, required for this transition, I need to subtract the energy of this minus this. Right? So do that one. I call it as uh, delta E one. Okay, for the first transition. Okay, what I need to do? I need to subtract the um, uh, you know uh, energy that is E four minus E one. Right? This one. This one, okay, E four minus E one. So for the second transition, E three minus E two. Okay, do that one. I'll be doing this one first. Half G beta H plus A by four. Correct, E four minus E one. E one is what? Here it is there. Minus half G beta H minus A by four. Solve it. Okay, half G beta H plus A by four minus minus become plus half G beta H minus minus become what? Uh, yeah, minus minus plus A by four. Okay, solve it. You will get G beta H plus A by two. Okay, this is uh, for delta E one.
Similarly, calculate delta E2. Again, delta E2, how to calculate delta E2? E3 minus E2. Okay, like this only, like this manner only, you need to uh, subtract E3 minus E2. Okay, see what you get. You will get this one. Okay, delta E2 is equal to what? E3 minus E2. If you subtract this, you will get this one. Okay, G beta H minus A by 2. Okay, now you have calculated delta E1 and also you have calculated delta E2. Okay, we get a two transition of and also we calculate the energy required for that particular transition. Now take the difference between these two. Okay, delta E2 minus delta E1. See what you get. Delta E2 means what? G beta H minus A by 2 minus and uh, delta E1 is already calculated that is G beta H plus A by 2. Okay, solve it. G beta H A by 2. I think I have, uh, I think here it is uh, G beta H by 2, correct? No, 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 no. It is correct. G beta H minus A by 2. Did I make a mistake? No, I, I made a mistake here only. Yes, G beta H minus a by 2 minus g beta h then what you have minus right minus a by 2 or else uh, you uh, do this one delta e1 minus delta e2 because if i do this one i get uh, minus a by 2 minus a by 2 i get to minus a right so to get the positive A, I should uh, reverse this, correct? Delta E1 minus delta E2. That means what I get? G beta H plus A by 2 minus E. Delta E2 means what? G beta H minus A by 2. Okay, I should get a positive value. That is why I am uh, reversing this. Okay, you can do any of the cases. Like, you want to get positive. Okay, for that reason, I just reverse this. That's it. G beta H plus A by 2 minus G beta H minus minus plus a by 2 you will get a by 2 plus a by 2 that is a okay what is a i will let you know a is nothing but a hyper fine splitting constant okay it is nothing but hyper fine splitting constant or hyper fine coupling constant okay a is called as hyperfine splitting constant or it is also said to be hyperfine coupling constant okay in esr spectrum we get two lines why because uh, we have seen that there are two transitions are possible right there are two transition possible that means in the esr spectrum we will get two lines like this okay like this we will get two lines in a esr spectrum okay now the gap is there no? the difference between these two lines e is nothing but a okay a means what it is a hyperfine splitting constant or it is the difference between the two lines that you observe in the esr uh, no, spectrum okay that is what a is here okay this is the esr spectrum for what hydrogen nucleus or hydrogen atom okay for hydrogen atom you get uh, two lines and the difference between them is uh, a okay uh, if you have any doubt in this uh, uh, class, ESR uh, spectrum of hydrogen, you can ask me in the comment section. Okay. In the next class, we will see the ESR spectrum of uh, the nitrogen, nitrogen or uh, uh, other some other species. Okay. Thank you for watching.